I'm here in Portugal getting a chance to drive the all-new Audi S5. Under the hood of this car is a brand new turbocharged six-cylinder engine. New sheet metal on the outside, much more chiseled front hood, sharper looking headlights, a larger grille that sits lower down to the front of the car. The whole nose looks a little bit more squat. Around the back, clean sheet design as well. It looks very fresh. What Audi does particularly well, I think better than anybody in the industry, are these super sharp, crisp lines that go all the way down the bodywork. They're very hard to do in the manufacturing process, and they do it fantastically. The car sits a little bit lower because it has a new Quattro system that does just that. Has the car a little bit lower for handling and for aesthetic. So let's take this new Audi S5 on these twisty roads in Portugal and find out what it's like. The S5 is built on an all-new platform shared with the A4. It's larger in every dimension, offering more interior space and trunk room, but the car is actually 60 kilograms lighter and more aerodynamic. The S5 now comes with standard LED headlamp technology, which frame the lower nose and larger grille. The S5 engine features 800 new parts and is 14 kilograms lighter with more power at 354 horsepower, more torque at 368 pound-feet, and the throttle is more responsive. Plus, this engine is 5% more efficient. The S5 now features suspension damper control that senses the road and adjusts the suspension for each situation. On top of this, you still have the Audi Drive Select system for further individual control. Audi has moved to an 8-speed Tiptronic transmission away from a dual clutch to take the increased torque loads and also smooth out the car for everyday situations. So on this trip here to Portugal, I've had a chance to drive the A5, which has 252 horsepower from a turbo 2-liter 4-cylinder engine. Then you jump into the S5, and it has a 6-cylinder turbocharged engine with 354 horsepower. So you get pretty much 100 more horsepower. And you notice the weight of the car right away. It feels heavier. But after driving both of them, I'm not sure if it's because of the European gas that you have in the, uh, in the regular A5. It really responded beautifully. I was very surprised by how good that engine was. But this feels more of everything. It feels a little bit more planted on the road. It feels a little bit heavier, as I mentioned. And you have the ability to use the uh, drive select system to dial in just the way you want it to go. And on these twisty roads, the new platform that Audi is using for the A4, for the A5, this S5, and for the Audi Q7 is really showing its strengths. It feels really well put together. I have had a chance to drive the AMG 43 and AMG 63 just a week ago in the C-Class. And uh, now the 63 is a special car, but the 43, I'm not sure there'd be much in it. In fact, I think I would take this car over the Mercedes-Benz um, because I think it just has a bit more uh, in the way of the sound. I like the interior, the simplicity of the interior. It's so polished and up to date, even though it has classic Audi materials, all the stuff you've seen from Audi over the last few years, beautiful uh, aluminum, uh, nicely finished materials. It just looks like it's a, a real 2017 version of what we come to expect from them. Now, this instrument cluster you have behind the steering wheel is not standard on all of the Audi cars. You typically have to get the top model to get the virtual cockpit. Now driving here in Portugal has been especially nice to put the navigation screen in behind the steering wheel. So it's a redundant screen. You have the big 12.3 inch screen behind the steering wheel and the screen in the center of the dash to uh, give you she's telling me to turn right after 600 meters. So I can see that in both the center of the screen and the center of the dash. So I think that's very helpful. And this is something that I think a lot of car companies are gonna emulate. So even though this looks like an updated version of the old A5, new platform, new engine, new Quattro all-wheel drive system that sits a little bit lower, gives this car a more dynamic look and feel. And it all comes together to produce a wonderful driving experience. I love the A4, I like the A5, I love this S5. Well, it's been a real pleasure getting a chance to drive this new Audi S5 here in Portugal. Wonderful roads. And the one thing about the Audi S5 is it already was a superstar. Now you take the new platform that is shared with the A4, 
you get the new turbocharged six-cylinder engine with tons of power and it just all comes together beautifully. The updated interior really is a work of art. It's finely, finely crafted. Some people might like or not like the style of the inside. Some might find it a little bit stark, but you know what? You can't say that Audi cuts corners when it comes to materials. The way the car drives, it's just so planted and refined and so relaxed and easy for the driver. You look like a superstar driving this car. The design on the outside might take a little while for some to get used to. These sharp lines are definitely a step away from the flowing design of the previous S5. I like it. I actually like it more because I like the way it drives and the way it looks. And that's where you spend most of the time, behind the steering wheel. The new Audi A5 and S5 will be arriving in the spring of 2017. To watch a review of the all-new Audi A5, click the picture on the left.